Hey guys, welcome back. This is HK from TechRap and now I'm going to show you how to get latest Android P look and features on your phone. So let's just start. Before moving further, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon for instant notifications on new uploads. First of all, you can get the complete look and features only if you are running Android Oreo 8.1. So if you are running Oreo 8.0 or Nougat, then you need to shift to custom ROMs or stock ROMs running Oreo 8.1. And also, the system UI changes will only work if the OS is close to stock. It won't work on heavily skinned ROMs like TuzWiz, MIUI, UI and other search ROMs. First step is to get root permissions. Here I'm using Magix to get root and the Magix version is 16.2. Next you need to download Expose Magix module. For that go to Magix app, click on hamburger menu icon at the top left and select downloads. Here search for Expose and download and install the Expose framework with SDK 27. Now the Magix app will automatically download the framework process and install it. Once the installation is done, click reboot to activate Expose Framework on your phone. Ok, now we have rebooted our phone. Next we need to get Expose Installer for Magix. For that, go to this link, scroll down to Attachments section and download Expose Installer for Magix version 3.1.5. Once the download is complete, install it as normal APK and open the Expose Installer app. If you are getting an error like Expose is installed but not active, select Installer Update and pick Install via Recovery, download the module and reboot to recovery to finish the installation. Now we have rebooted our phone again and as you can see Expose framework is active now. Next you need to download Android P5 APK and install it as normal app. After installing you will get a pop up stating that this module is not active. Clicking on it will take you to the module section from Expose Installer app. Select Android P5 there and do a soft or hard reboot. We are done with the reboot and the Android P system UI look has been activated. As you can see here now we have new quick toggles with rounded icons, the network signal indicator just above the quick toggles and the clock which has been moved to the left side. There is also a small separator here now between quick toggles and notification panel. The notification panel also got a slightly revamped design. It's not that much noticeable but there is a change. Another UI change is with respect to the settings panel which got this rounded color icon design too and as you can see it does look cool but it is a lot similar to the flux theme so it is not a completely new design and the new app transitions are kinda cool too. Next thing is to get Android P Pixel Launcher. Just download this app, install it as normal APK, click home button and select always. So this is a new Android P developer preview launcher. It has a basic look with new rectangular white colored dock but there are not many features included like Google search on the left side of the home page, no black theme but you can change the icon shape with developer options enabled. Next is Android P Media Controls. To get these you just need to install this app from the Play Store. It is paid app which just costs 20 rupees and you can get this app from Play Store or from XDA Labs. After installing it, open the app, click OK and give it Do Not Disturb Access and that's it. So this is the new Android P volume toggle and you can control volume of media with a notification panel. Now we have new volume toggles just below the usual quick toggles and you can control ring volume, notification volume, media volume, in-call volume and even Bluetooth audio volume separately. And finally Android P Screenshot Editor. This app is called Google Markup and installation process is same as previously mentioned apps. You just need to download the APK and install it. After that, take a screenshot, go to the notification panel, slide down on the screenshot, click on the share button and select markup. Now the screenshot will open in the editor app and here you can draw or write something on the screenshot or any other image and there are two kinds of brushes, one for thin lines and the other for thick transparent lines. There are undo and redo buttons and you can also crop your screenshot. And once everything is done, click on the tick icon for saving the picture. So that's it about how to get Android P look and features on Mi A1 or any other phone. Hit like and subscribe if you guys find it useful. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video.